Hi guys, Matt from the Big River here. I missed you guys last week because we had all that ice and we did not order any livestock. This week we made up for it. We ordered all kinds of stuff. I got a ton of merchandise coming, including quite a bit of livestock. First thing out of the first box is not fish, though it is plants. We got a big order of plants, well overdue. We actually placed this order two weeks ago and then it got held up. Uh, so glad to have a whole bunch of plants. There's some java fern and some more java fern mats, and some swords, and uh, some Ludwigias, some Crips, some Hygros. We got Ludwigias, and we got Water Sprite, and we got more swords. We got a lot of plants. I won't go through the rest of them, but it, suffice to say, you want to pan, there is a ton of plants in this box, all of which are just waiting for you to come check them out. So we are restocked at the Big River and aquatic plants. There, one box done. Uh, five more saltwater boxes today. We'll have some freshwater boxes tomorrow. Should uh, have some really cool stuff to check out. I was prepping these boxes. We always cut these boxes open, pull the height packs, open the bags before we try to talk about them. And right on top of one of the boxes is a pair. I, I don't know why there was a pair. I mean, it's a fruit, a pear, sitting on top of all the fish, on top of the heat packs. Anybody got any idea why somebody would put a pear in my fish? Let me know. I don't know why there was a pear there. But I do know that this is a six-line wrasse, a really nice looking one. Really like a little six-line wrasse or an ice little guy for a um, small tank, or they actually do um, your reef just fine. Okay, big bags or big fish. This is a big Coran angel changeling. It's not quite changing yet. It's still got the baby color on it. Very, very cool. Coran angel. Here he is. Some emerald crabs. I ordered a bunch of emerald crabs. If you've been in and saw all the bubble algae in my reef tank, you'll know why. Uh, but we ordered enough to share too. Um, let's see. Who's in here? Nobody. There it is. Who is it? I still can't see. That's a fox face. This is... Is that the mag? I've got a mag coming, That's uh, and I think that's who it is. This is a special order this week for a magnificent fox face. I can't see it either. Uh, very, very cool fish. Let's see. There is a Heniocus, a big one. We've gotten them in tiny. This is not tiny, so that's a good size Heniocus. Um, I ordered one. They had two on the invoice. Let's see if they actually sent two. Uh, more emerald crabs. Got to like those. And here's a long spined urchin. Cute little guy. They're the ones with a little eyeball that hangs, hold, uh, floats around on the top. Very cool little uh, invert. Oh, more fish. Almost missed fish in the box. In the bottom of the box, we have the yellow chorus wrasse. I did order two of those. Somebody asked me for that. And here's a long nose hawk. Perhaps one of my favorite hawks. I like all hawks. I have to admit, I'm a hawk fish hawk. All right, let me move these giant bags over here so we got more room to work. Giant bags with giant fish. Yay. All right, next up we have, good say it, fish. And some inverts. All right, in this bag we have, or box, we have lots of stuff. Got some snails. Those are those snorkel snails, Marusu or some such thing. That looks like some margarita snails. Got crocus snails and margarita snails coming today. Yeah, a whole bunch of the margaritas. That's hermit crabs, I think. Yeah, it sure is. Those are the little uh, blue leg hermit crabs. There's a fish. That's a scopa tang. Nice size on that guy. Next up is, oh, there's the troca. Nice size on these. And they came at a good price for this size. Fantastic. The last ones we got were a quarter that size. Um, and here's a fighting conch. Fighting conch sounds like you'd really do damage in your tank, but really they're a bit territorial with, the males are a little territorial with each other, but otherwise they're actually a good uh, filter feeder for your tank or sand sifter. Uh, more emerald crabs. I have a lot of those because I've got a lot of them. Oh, that's um, recordia mushrooms. They got me doubled up on the invoice on those too. They said I got two batches. I meant to get 10 uh, recordia mushrooms, and I think I got 20. At least I got billed for 20. There's a nice Linkia star. I like those. Red Linkia, orange, red orange. Those are reef safe. 
And another semi-reef safe critter. This is a little Valentini puffer, or saddleback puffer, they call those. Fantastic little guy. We've sold a lot of those. Uh, peppermint shrimp. We got big order of those guys this week. They apparently got over the shortage and let us order. In fact, they gave me a little discount for buying a big bunch of them, so I did. Uh, so we got peppies. And here's some more. A whole bunch of peppermint shrimp. I think there's like 25 of them in there. So no more rationing on peppermint shrimp. And there are more. Peppermint shrimp. Lots and lots of peppermint. Everybody, get the peppermint shrimp. Get your peppermint shrimp here. All right, back in the box, guys. Okay, everybody back in a box. These bizarre boxes that they kind of tape together. Sometimes you get these ones that have been imported from overseas. And they kind of look like they constructed them with paper mache. Got a whole bunch of these guys this week too. They were off in a little bit of a quantity discount and we sell out every time I get them. So I got a bunch. These are those uh, mandarin gobies. Got to get little food for those guys. Either live brine or copiapods. You can get them onto mysis and other frozen foods after they've been around for a while, but usually coming right out of the ocean, you want to have the pods ready to go. Uh, here's a diamond sleeper goby. Said large. She does not look large even a little bit, so whoops. Um, here's another mandarin goby. And here's a clean wrasse. Keep a couple of those guys around. They take a lot of biofilm or fish slime to keep those guys happy. But if you got a bigger system with a lot of fish, they are nice for keeping everything happy. Oh, who is this? This is a... Oh, I can't remember which kind of... It looks like a spotted sweet lips, but it's not. This is a, a type of hogfish. Which kind is it? It's not the coral. All right, you'll have to come check it out. And after I remember which kind of hog he is. Super cool. They change as they get bigger. Here's a trigger. This is a blue throat trigger. It's a male. We've got the male on that, which is going to have the brighter yellow fins and the blue patch on the throat. So that is a blue throat or blue bearded uh, triggerfish. A blue neck. Here's uh, another fox. He's all right. Is this the black spot or is that the mag? I can't tell. I can tell he's looking a little stressed. Which one are you? I cannot see. I don't see a black spot on him. Let's see. He's looking a little stressed. Let's get him under wraps. Mags come in stressed. So they're a challenge on the shipping. Um, here's a hippo tang. A little bit smaller than I expected for price, but still a nice looking fish. I've gotten them bigger. Um, let's see. That is a special order. This is a harlequin shrimp. Super, super cool shrimp. Uh, they have to eat starfish, so make sure you have food for those guys. Um, and then here's another mandarin goby. This looks like a target rather than a green. Yeah, it's a green. Very cool. Um, and here's a wrasse. That's a red-lined wrasse. We got one in last week that did not make the trip, so we tried it again. Yeah, he came in thing. Very good. So very nice. Uh-oh, what did we lose here? This is, you know what, that might... Oh my gosh, he's tiny. This is a pistol shrimp. He's stuck in the corner down there. It's a little candy striped pistol shrimp. So a super cool little dude. I stick him <coughs> in on the, the desk tank. Uh, another tang here is a type of that's a, a bristle tooth. I believe it's a blue eye. Hard to tell through the bag, but I'm pretty sure that's a blue eye. And then we have oh, that's a uh, leopard grass, the blue star leopard grass. Those guys are a little bit challenging on shipping also. Let's see if those guys, that guy does all right for us. And the last one is another mandarin goby. So a whole bunch of mandarin gobies. Everybody get your gobies here. Put that guy so it doesn't get squished. And on top, we'll get big bags in the box. And we'll go again. down. All right. And you 
we go. All right, one more box down. Oopa! One more heavy box down. Two to go, guys. Two to go. One of those jankety boxes. Just get here, though. That's what matters. Oop. Got to pull the rubber band on that one. There we go. What do we got? Um, that's another yellow chorus wrasse. Uh, he doesn't look like he made the trip. Alright. Well, he don't look so good. Uh, who's in here? That's emerald grabs. They look fine. Nice big ones in there. And there's, oh my, that's a big pajama crongo. Look how big you are. Big bag. Who's in the big bag? Oh, another Hemiocus. I told you we got two, so we did. Got a big enough tank. You can do those in the school. I'm going to put one in each of our displays, but they're beautiful fish. I like a Hemiocus. All right. Who are you? A Nazo Tang. That's the blonde version of a Nazo Tang. Not a bad size on him. And then uh, more emerald crabs. I told you we had a lot. I wasn't kidding. More emerald crabs. <laughs> this will get to be a theme. And more emerald crabs. Yeah, most of them look good. Let's see. Not an emerald crab. This is, oh, a Klein's butterfly. I haven't had one of these in a couple weeks. Klein's butterfly are actually really good at eating Aptasia. So one of the easier butterflies to keep along with Heniocus. There's another cardinal, but he's tiny compared to that other one. I don't know what to deal with that. One giant, one tiny. Quite a pair of Mutt and Jeff. Here's another one that's kind of in between. He's big, but not quite as big as that other one. So, there you go. Got a trio of Cardinals, three different sizes. Last bag out of this box. Oh, it's a Copper Band. Copper Band and Butterfly. I've been doing really great with our sense of butterflies from this group. So, we got that long nose back there. He's been picking and eating. We've had a couple Copper Bands do well. So, we got. Uh, Brave, and we ordered another one, and we'll see how he does. He looks good in the bag, so hopefully he will acclimate and do well and start eating. Move this box back before I put that huge bag in there. Because that's heavy. Maybe I'll just put that guy like that. There we go. Nobody gets squished. Everybody gets home alive. Alrighty. I'll get the bin for this last box. In the bag we have a red chorus wrasse, very cool, and that's a bicolored Lenny. Those things are fun. And who else? Oh, that's uh, a Gorgonia. This is the red finger Gorgonia, one of the oddities in the coral world. They're a non-photosynthetic coral. They also call them a sea fan. Very handy little dude to have around. This is a one more Blenny. Let's call him an algae Blenny few other names for them. Handy little fellow, that's what I call them. More emerald crabs. And more emerald crabs. You guys would think I got a few emerald crabs on this order. Um, and there's some more. And a blue linkia starfish, another reef safe starfish. Fantastic. Uh, emerald crab. I'm going to crab out here. Let's see. Nope, that is another mandarin goby. Did I get a target on this order? I don't think I did. No, so. And then there's a bunch of margarita snails. A whole bunch of them. The uh, ones with the coralline encrusting. Last bag on this saltwater order is a trigger. A huma huma nuka nuka pua. Say that five times fast. This Hawaiian state fish. That is a trigger to end up our saltwater. We'll be back with some fresh in a minute. Alrighty, we're back and we got some freshwater fish to unbox here. Also, I got a special guest host today. It's Barry. She came in on her day off just so she didn't have to hold the camera today. Uh, we switched up her days and uh, I'm so used to her doing the filming. This would be fun. Yes. All right, let's have fun. Let's play what's, name that fish. Remember three, almost four years ago? I, it, it was fish. Yeah, they were fish with fins. Yes. Let's see how we do today. Chili Resboros. Notice the tag is pointed the wrong way. Yeah, I saw the tag yeah, yeah. first, though. Oh, you did. You They're a, a Bora's Rasbora, uh, lots of different types, and those are indeed our chilies. We've had a hard time getting those. They're a little bit chilly, too, cold, 
cold bag. So we got all kinds of chili jokes today. Okay. All right, okay. the, name this fish. We uh, don't get these that often. The blue grommy? Those are blue grommies, or two spot grommy, they'll call them, or a three spot grommy, they'll call them also. Lots of different names, same fish. Get big, five to seven inches. All right, variation on a theme? Gold grommies. Very easy, description is in the name. Gold grommies, also a three spot grommie, but it's the albino version. Also gets five to seven inches, a much bigger fish than most people give them credit for. All right, name that fish. Gold white clouds? That is golden white clouds, very good. Those are, of course, an albino as well. Those are a cooler water fish as well. Uh, they uh, do well in your planted tanks and otherwise. Uh, small mouth, they're not particularly bad about eating baby shrimp. Tricolor swordtails. Yeah, it looks like most of them even made the trip. Tricolored sword tails. Restock on those guys. Very nice version of a sword tail. Should have some other types too. Let's see if they made the trip. Female bettas. Very good. Female bettas. But what kind of female bettas? Let's see if I can stump her. Candy. I don't. Not sure on that one. They are half moon female bettas. Half okay. moons are the tail type. Hard to tell on the females when the tail types are different. All right, next up is uh, your question. Can you at home figure it out? It's not a chili rasbora. It's a rasbora. It is a boris rasbora, but it's not a chili. This is the Phoenix rasbora. What else is in the box here? We have some shrimp. What kind of shrimp? Uh, bamboo filter feeders. Yes, indeed. Or a Singapore shrimp. Lots and lots of names for these guys, but they're all the same thing. Filter feeding bamboo Singapore shrimp. Uh, next up is CPD Celestial Pearl Daniels. Celestial Pearl Daniels, indeed, another nano fish. Lots of restock on nano fish this week. Great choice for any of your nano. Uh, can you guys type on that one? I'm, uh, I'm going to be honest. I don't think I could without the tag, and there is no tag. The betta. It is a betta. It's a male placot betta. So I'll give you the cheat sheet is that I ordered emerald candy bettas and I can see the pink from the candy. I don't see any emerald on that, but very nice looking bettas either way. All right, next up is... Pea puffers. And it is indeed, pea puffers. Big. Yeah, it looks like some of them didn't make the trip. Let's we'll see if they warm up. This, uh, this order got delayed, so some of the things got cold. Uh, most of this box did pretty well. The first box was in pretty bad shape. That's where we had to cut it before we let you guys see them. Uh, powder blue? Uh, powder blue what? Garami. Sorry, yeah. dwarf garami. Dwarf garami. The difference between a dwarf garami and a regular garami is inches. These guys can get as much as three inches, which is about the size most people think the blue garamis get, but those guys get five to seven. So at three inches, that is a dwarf garami. Next up we have... Uh, we got some floaters in here too. Uh, Harley Quinn rasboras. Yes, indeed. Another rasbora, a bigger version of a rasbora. The harlequin or hedomorphia. Uh, or Trigonostema hedomorphia. There's my bad Latin for the day. Um, let's see, next up we have... Swordtails. Yes, yes, the color? Clear. <laughs> <laughs> these, are, these are actually a green sword tail. Uh, closer to a wild coloration on those guys. Pretty darn cool. I haven't had those in a while. I was pretty excited actually to get them. Uh -oh, Tiger Barbs didn't make the trip. So look closer at those guys. Not a single winner in that one. Um, these guys look good though. Black Neon Tetras? Indeed, Black Neon Tetras. That's uh, Hypris Obercon Herbivaxol Rodi uh, for those who follow with the Latin. Last in this order for today. Congo Tetras. Congo Tetras. These are the large Congo Tetras. They're not huge, but it looks like they are mostly males. And most of them made the trip. So looking pretty good. And that's it for this week's order, guys.